We do see syncope in people as they get older and part of that is due to the fact that the cardiovascular system, the heart and the arteries are aging and becoming less flexible as we get older. This can mean that we can see symptoms as simple as a bit of lightheadedness when rising from a chair all the way through to actual collapse in a public place or a warm environment. So we see this as we get older more commonly because we are aging and that aging makes us more susceptible to blood pressure drop. Syncope can be caused by many things as we get older. Aging is clearly part of the process, but of course, as we get older, we also acquire other conditions which may affect our heart function or may we may require therapy that puts us more at risk of having collapsing episodes such as blood pressure tablets or water tablets, these can lead to dehydration and a poorer response of our blood pressure as we move around our environment. So we can find that not only is ageing the problem, but other illnesses that we also suffer contribute to an increased risk of syncope in adults. I think one of the issues we see as we get older is a tolerance that we shouldn't expect to be as well as we can be because of our age. So many people feel that it is almost normal to collapse and faint as an older person, but we shouldn't accept this to be true. Some people are having problems with their heart rhythm, which could be dramatically improved by the simple addition of a pacemaker, and other people are having significant side effects of multiple medications, and a good review by a general practitioner can try and ease those symptoms away. I think another issue we have to deal with in the older person is that they are also more susceptible to falls than the general population. Some of this is due to the fact their blood pressure may drop, but it could also be due to hearing issues and problems with vision and the way our nervous system works. So when somebody comes in and says they had had a collapse, I think some clinicians may try to make that into a fall, which may be easier to explain away than to look for the true cause of the episode. When I see older people who have been suffering from collapses or falls, I tell them that they have to do a few definite things. They have to look at the environment that they live in, make sure that they've not got tatty but comfortable slippers which may actually catch and make them fall, make sure that they are living in an environment that is easy for them to move around so they're not falling over small footstools or old carpets so their environment's improved. I also advise them to try and keep a good volume of fluid in a day because we find as people get older with ladies with bladders which aren't as strong or chaps with prostates that mean they can't hold such large volumes of urine in their bladder, they've tended to stop drinking to mean that they don't spend a lot of time on the loo. In these people we have to encourage them to keep a good circulating volume and keep their fluids up as much as possible. And through that, you can quite often find that they also comment that the lightheadedness of rising from the chair is eased, and some of them even comment on improvements on a general headache and general feeling of well-being. I think when we talk to the older person who's suffered from syncope, we have to always do it in two directions at the same time. One is to explain to the patient how they can try and prevent further episodes. That may mean that they need to adjust medications depending on how they feel that day. It may mean that they need to try and keep their fluids up during the day or take a little bit more salt. But I think it's also very important to talk to them about their friends and relatives and what they should do if they were to suffer a collapse. Too often I hear of people who have fainted at the dinner table and they've been kept sat up in the chair and slowly dabbed with tepid water until they recover. The family's trying to do the best for their friend 
but what they need to do is they need to actually get the patient flat and if that doesn't immediately start helping raise the ankles so that we try and improve the circulation to the head and hopefully make them recover from their episode of syncope quickly. If they don't recover quickly, they should know that they should call for help from the paramedics. So I think we have to look at it from not only preventing the episode, but also to make sure that the patient recovers as quickly as possible if they do suffer a syncopal episode. I think it's easy to say that as people get older, they are susceptible to falls, and this is just part of the normal ageing process. But I would say to that, that not all older people fall, and therefore we can help those who do. How do we help people who fall frequently? We talk about the environment they live in to make it safe as possible. We should look at the medication that they're on to make sure we're not causing problems, and we should tell them what to do if they do suffer a blackout or a fall to make sure they recover as quickly as possible. Aging causes the skin to sag and the hair to go grey. It doesn't necessarily make you fall. It just makes you susceptible to falls.